Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again. Um, my makeup's a little interesting today. My daughter actually did it. I will link all of those videos that are involved with that down below so you can see what's going on. This is actually going to be my update for my project book smarts. I know it's nowhere near the end of the month. It is actually uh, April 21st when I am filming this, although it probably won't be up until close to the end of the month. Um, but I've read the five books that I picked last month. Um, yeah. So, and you know, because I picked them early anyway, so um, yeah, I will just go through those and then I will tell you the five new books that I will be reading for starting from now until whenever. Um, so, uh, the first one from last time was Pygmalion, which I read a couple of nights ago, um, that was the last of the books. Um, the thing I found most interesting about that, I mean, I've seen my Fair Lady lots and lots of times. I've never actually read Pygmalion before, but I had watched My Fair Lady lots of times. Um, was actually the bit at the end, um, the after the play is over bit that George Bernard Shaw actually wrote about what actually happens to Eliza. Um, he actually goes into detail about what actually happens, and it's, it's not kind of like how My Fair Lady ended. It doesn't really have that same kind of feel to it. Um, yeah, it was, that's what I kind of found most interesting. It was a good read. Um, it didn't take very long to read it, clearly. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. Uh, the next one was a book with bad reviews, and I read Do or Die, A New Paranormal Romance. Dude, don't waste your time. Seriously. There was a reason it has bad reviews. It's bloody terrible. Seriously terrible. Um, I've read some bad books in my time. That one was... That one just like took the cake. It was like there were some great ideas in it. There were some cr some great um, concepts, and it could have been a really good story. But it was like they took every idea they'd ever had and just like crammed it all into one book. Um, and even then, it wasn't the whole book. There's actually well, it's just the first book. There's like follow-on ones as well. Uh, it jumps all over the place. There's very little continuity in the book. Um, there are a lot of things that don't even make sense. Like, literally in the first paragraph, you're wondering what the hell is going on. Um, it's set in Trinidad, and the uh, one of the female characters is wearing a purple fur coat in Trinidad. It just gets worse from there. Uh, in fact, it was so bad that it led me to publish my own book because I thought, geez, that's terrible. Uh, I think I write better than that. I'm just going to publish my book because if he can or she can, I'm not sure if it's a girl or a guy, then I can. Uh, yeah. So I'll leave a link to my book down below if you want to come pick up a copy of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, the next one was a book with one word title. I read Damocles. I really enjoyed this book. It, it's a science fiction book. Um, it's it's science fiction, but also social and looks at how we are as human beings. Um, basically, five human beings end up on um, an alien planet with human-like uh, people and they have to learn to communicate, um, <laughs> avoid pissing these aliens off, um, basically. Um, and it looks at a lot of the things that we take for granted and we assume as human beings. And things that we are horrified that someone might do to us, yet we would do the same if the situation was reversed. Like, you know, we would... Uh, want to experiment on aliens if they came to our planet and we would you know be afraid that they wanted to kill us automatically um, and yet we're offended by the idea that somebody might want to do that to us like other aliens might want to do it to us and it's it's an interesting concept um, but it was a really good read I really enjoyed it like I mean it was it was just good I just I just really enjoyed it and probably because there's a lot about like the English language and how 
difficult it can be to explain concepts that we take for granted, that we grow up with every day, trying to explain that to somebody who has never seen it or understood it. Like this planet, for example, doesn't have night, so they don't talk about things in terms of days. Um, you know, there's no, no daytime, no nighttime. It's just how it is all the time kind of thing. It was really interesting. I absolutely do recommend that book. Uh, the next one was a book by a local author. I read Beach Apples by Vera Loy. She is a South Australian author. This was like a bunch of short stories. And um, they weren't great. They were kind of like somebody took the story from... Like they took off the beginning and they took off the end and they just gave you the bit in the middle of the story. And you kind of get left with the feeling that there's more to the story the whole time even though they're these short stories um yeah i i, I found although i appreciated the references to local places like places that i know of it yeah it, it, they weren't the best short stories i've ever read and the last one was a book set in the 1700s. I read The Pirate Bride, Daughters of the Mayflower. This is actually an extended preview of um, a book that's not set to release until May or June or something. Um, having read it, I am not... Uh, it did not make me want to buy it when it comes out, let's put it that way. It was okay, but it wasn't... It didn't um, engage me. It didn't make me wonder what the hell happened. Like, um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't that engaging. So, um, but it is what it is. Um, if you're interested in pirates and books set in that time and the history around that time, then you might be interested in it. There's actually a whole bunch of them. There's like a series of them by the same author. Um, yeah. So my five books for the next month i have um four that are on my kindle my phone and one real book which sounded stupid because books on kindle are still real books i mean a tangible in your hand 10 pages book okay just to be clear. <laughs> so the first one I picked is number 26, which is a book with non-human characters. Um, so what I decided to do is I'd started reading a book, um, of course I'll insert a picture, uh, called Tales from the Radiation Age. Um, it's set on Earth and uh, there are humans, but there are a lot of not really humans. Like, they're, they're mutants um, or something. Not exactly 100% sure, but they're the result of radiation. So this is after a war, obviously. Uh, yeah. So they're not really human. And there's a whole bunch of different ones from what I remember. I've, like, read, like, 7% of this book. So there's a long way to go. <laughs> Uh, the next one is a book about self-improvement, and I found a book that's called Feel Good About Yourself, and it has quite good ratings, like four and a half stars on Amazon, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't normally read self-help books, so we'll see, um, but I will insert a picture. can't remember what the name off the top of him. <laughs> Uh, the next one was number 45, which is a trilogy, and I could have picked ones off my Kindle where I have like a box set of like three or five books or whatever, but they're not actually trilogies, they're all like more like eight books or more longer. Eight books or more long. Um, so what I decided to do is do another reread, and I am going to read The Bromeliad by Terry Pratchett. This is the three books, The Truckers, The Diggers, and Wings. These are like little people. Little people. Um, I've read this before, clearly. That's why I said it's a reread. Um, but I had been thinking about reading it again because it's such an interesting story. Um, yeah, and it's in um, three parts. So I did think about reading... Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is a trilogy in five parts. 
and it's a lot smaller. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to read the Bromley ad again. The next one was a book published in 2018, and I'm going to read a book called The Ring of Corlan. The Initiation is the first in a series of books. Uh, it sounds interesting. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's about, but it sounded interesting when I was reading it. Hang on a sec. Let me just pick up my phone. Okay, so... Oops. Too far. Um, it's from the Ulian Chronicles, and it's a sci-fi thing with um, aliens and humans, and aliens getting humans to fight their battles for them. Sounds interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Might not be. Um, the self-help book is um, a book about self-improvement techniques to build confidence and self-esteem. Which is something I can do with. Let's see if it works. Um, and the last one is number six, a book by an author you have never read before, and I'm going to read Broken Pieces by Kathleen Isle, uh, Kathleen Lon or Kathleen Ion. Kathleen Lon. Um, this was the free book I picked up for the Samsung book deals for uh, April. Um, and it is... I can find a thingy on it. Nope. Yep. Um. It is about a woman. Um who has had a pretty tough life. Basically, her mother died, her father abandoned her, and she has been um, looking after herself um, for like 20 years, and then her father suddenly steps back into her life. Um, yeah, so it seemed interesting. Um, I will see how interesting I find it after I actually read it. Um, so these are all kind of bigger reads, um, except I think maybe um, the self-improvement one I think is the shortest one of the lot. Um, all the rest of them are pretty long, like six hour type long, which is not really that long, but that's a three, at least three day read. So. For me, that's long. Um, if I can read it in a night, it's not very long. Um, yeah. So, so they are the books that I am going to be reading in April. Um, as I said, I will leave my newly published book down below with the caveat. It is not clean fiction. So, Zelma, you don't want to read this one. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's not very long. It's, it's, it's pretty short, really. Um, it shouldn't take you too long to read. Um, but yes, it's not clean fiction. There is explicit sex and swearing. So if you don't want to read that kind of stuff, then I, I have no problem with you not reading my book. If you don't want to, there's no obligation whatsoever. Just putting it out there that I do, do actually have a book that I published. It is actually my um, NaNoWriMo novel from 2014. I believe, which was, I think, my second, second NaNoWriMo, um, it might have been my first, I can't remember, it might be 2013, um, yeah, so, and I am planning on publishing my other NaNoWriMo books as well, over a bit of time, I need to do a bit more editing than I did with the first one, there might be some spelling errors, um, <laughs> So, uh, Project Book Smarts, which I just say, is, uh, was created by Zelma, um, I will leave the other people doing it, there's Zelma and there's, um, 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 what's her name? Sh can't remember her name off the top of my head right now. 
brain died. I think it's Sherry. Um, or Cheryl. I will leave her link down below. Um, yeah. Um, along with Zelma and anyone else that I come across, because there's a few people who are doing it on uh, Instagram. So they will all be linked down below if you want to go and check them out. Uh, that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like projects and books and stuff like that. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to a comment. So I'll see you in my next video. See ya.